Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my everyday makeup routine. This is what I like to do when I decide to wear makeup. Personally, I prefer a natural, effortless look and it's all about skin prep to achieve it. Thank you to Biosance for partnering with me on a portion of today's video. So let's get started. After cleansing and serums, I like to refresh my skin with a toner before going in with my makeup. Next, I like to go in with a moisturizer. Today, I'm using the new Biosance Squalene Omega Repair Cream. Biosance uses 100% plant-based squalene from sugarcane to help lock in moisture in all of their products. This new moisturizer is extra hydrating and perfect for fall and winter months. While it provides the moisture I need, it's also super fast absorbing and perfect to use under makeup as well as rich enough to use at night. It's rich in omega fats and is ultra nourishing to my skin and helps it look and feel hydrated and plumped, which is perfect for the drier months, especially since I tend to get definitely a lot drier and I love that it absorbs fast because I do get oily in the T-zone. So it's great that I can use one product for both day and night. And if you'd like to give Biosance a try, I have a 15% off discount code in the description box. And I will also be listing all of the products in the description box as well. I love Biosance because they have a high standard for clean beauty and I've been really interested in the brand for quite some time now. I also love that they focus on sustainability and are 100% fragrance free. The products smell the way that they actually are because of the ingredients. In the mornings, I like to use a jade roller before going in with makeup or even just after skincare. It helps depuff my under eyes, it's soothing, it takes down some of the redness, and it just feels lovely. Of course, we can't forget SPF. You'll wanna apply that liberally and all over exposed skin. I like to use a primer to help smooth out any unevenness on my skin before going in with foundation. I'm using an SPF and peach tone corrector under the eyes. I like to actually use the applicator to apply to help soothe and depuff, but then I use my fingers to warm it up and a beauty blender to blend it out. For day to day, I personally prefer a lighter coverage and less is more when it comes to foundation for me. I just like to use it to even out any redness or discoloration and I'm using a beauty blender. Now again, my channel is all about focusing on getting the best skin you can by using good quality products and whenever possible, clean beauty products. This way you can let your skin shine through and just focus on covering with a slight concealer around your discoloration. For me, I have a vein that I like to cover as well as any darkness under my eyes. If you like more coverage, I prefer using a brush to blend out the concealer versus the beauty blender, but the beauty blender is great for smoothing anything out. I'm going to just set under my eyes and my nose, just anywhere I might have left any concealer, and this just helps me have a smoother base to go in with the rest of my makeup. For my brows, if I'm going to go in with my full brows, basically I brush my brows the opposite way and this fluffs it up. It also just gives it more texture and more volume. And then I go in with a brow product that's either a pomade or a powder. And then I like to set it with some sort of brow setting gel or some sort of a waxy textured product to really lock everything in. And I haven't had any problems with any of my brows fading thanks to this. I'm applying a little lip balm just because my lips were chapped at this point, and then I'm going into my eyes. I like to use a brown eyeliner and smudge it along my lash line. This gives my lashes a little more definition. It opens up my eyes, but it's also incredibly easy, effortless, and you can do it on the go. So you can just see, I'll apply the eyeliner, smudge it, and kind of continue. Then I'll use a brightening eyeliner. I've been testing this one out, which is very iridescent. It helps open up my eyes and it's just a great trick I've learned in the years. And then I'll go back in with the brown eyeliner and kind of define my lower lash line. Curling my lashes and applying tons and tons of mascara. I'm a mascara junkie, but I really find that it opens up my eyes and I don't have to do as much eye makeup that way. Next, I'm going with some bronzer and I just apply that to kind of where my cheeks are and then I bring it down my jaw, my jawline, and down my neck. This just warms up my face. Really subtle, but um, makes a huge difference. 
going with some blush. I have this Kosas one, so I just wanted a peachy pink blush on my cheekbones, as well as using the same palette for my highlight on the apples of my cheeks onto like the um, above where I apply the blush. <laughs> Most days I don't really wear any lip color, I prefer lip balm, but if I do, I want something that's clean and toxic free that's also very similar to my natural lip shade, so as it wears, you won't notice that it's wearing off of me. And that's my go-to everyday makeup look if I'm going to be wearing makeup for meetings or just want to feel a little more put together. I want to thank Biosance for sponsoring a portion of today's video and hope you guys give them a try. Don't forget to check out the discount code in the description box. Squalene is such an important ingredient that we need in our skincare because we naturally produce it, but through time we lose it. Thanks to Biosense, they've created a more sustainable and ethical way of making sure we are able to get squalene in our skincare and also making sure it's effective. So until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.